Hello and thank you for joining me. This is Jan from Thinking Stamping and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in New Zealand. Thank you for joining me for another video in my starting up stamping and simple stamping series. Today we're going to make a card that uses a technique called tone on tone stamping. So it's going to be this card which again uses this stamp set artfully layered from the January to June mini catalogue 2022. I've spoken before about this set as being a great set for starting out with because leaves give you opportunities for lots and lots of different occasions and it contains a variety of useful sentiments. So you could make this card into a birthday card, a sort of a thinking of you card, a hi there card or a thank you card. What's one of the nice things about making your own cards is you get to choose what sort of card it is. So on other occasions I've also spoken about when you're starting out in stamping, one way to get started with colours of paper and ink is to start off with one family. So this card uses the Brights family and the colours that we're going to be using today are Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana, a nice tropical mix of colours. So we'll get started. I've got my card base of Coastal Cabana, which is 14.8 centimetres tall and it's scored at 10 and a half. So give it a nice crease with the bone folder so we've got a good fold, put it aside. You'll see in our sample card that there's a mat of Bermuda Bay, which we'll put aside until we need it. And then we've got a central panel of Coastal Cabana. You can get a really lovely effect by simply stamping the same coloured ink on the same coloured paper. So we're going to start with this lovely um, open leaf stamp from Artfully Layered. We're going to ink it up. Uh, when I'm doing something like this, I like to start in the middle. It doesn't really matter which way up you go. Again, I'm doing my tapping my ink, tapping my stamp onto the ink pad because that's the best way to pick up ink on the stamp without picking up ink around the edges of the stamp, which can cause you problems. So then you've started in the middle. And we're just going to fill up. And then I'm just going to fill in the gaps with some little bits. Perhaps this time I might even fill it in with the stem end. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Tone on tone stamping just gives you that lovely kind of interest onto a plain piece of paper. We might as well get that going. So again, glue, you don't need a lot of glue. The more glue you have, the more chance you've got, the thicker that glue is, the more chance there is that when you put the pieces together, the layers together, you're going to get ink oozing out. And then it gets in the wrong place. So bit of ink still gives us wiggle, bit of glue rather, gives us wiggle room to make sure we've got that on straight. And eventually that is going to go on there. In fact, we'll do that right now. So just a thin thread of glue around the edges. And attach it to your card base. Give it a nice firm press after, after you've checked for wiggle. Okay, so you've checked, let it straight. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the banner that's got the sentiment and some decoration on it. Now, if you look at the piece of paper, you'll see that I've cut that bigger. That's so we've got a bit of room to play around with it on. So first thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now I'm lining this up so it's nice and straight on my grid paper. I've got that line straight. What sentiment will we have? Oh, there's a few. Um, I think that I will stick with thank you. And I'm going to do it in the darker colour. I think the sentiments always look a bit nicer when you choose a darker colour. And if, of course, all your colours are pastel, you can use um, black, just plain black. Tapping on the ink pan to pick up the ink. Tap, tap, tap. Again, when I've put this onto the block, I've made sure it's straight so that, in theory, when I line it up with the bottom of the paper, it's going to be straight. Now, I'm doing this down the bottom. If I'm not straight, oh, phew, I am. But if I'm not straight, it's a good time to remind yourself that paper has two sides. Okay, now I'm going to fishtail the bottom. Now, if you are a person who's very mathematical, this is six and a half centimetres wide, you would measure it. Uh, I'm not quite so fanatical, so I'm going to eyeball where I think the middle is. I'm going to do a little cut. And then I'm going to cut from the corner to that centre. Same on the other side. Right, so I've got a nice little fishtail which gives it some detail. Now, decoration time. So I'm going to use this solid stamp and I'm going to use oh, Bermuda Bay. Because this is a quite a big stamp, I'm, I'm inking it up this way, so I've got a bit better control. And again, I'm tapping, not pushing. I'm tapping the ink on. Now, if you've watched me before, you'll know I'm going to say that because this is a solid stamp and we want a good solid impression, I'm going to press down firmly and I'm going to count to ten. And that's so the ink has got lots of time to transfer to the paper. Ah, just what I wanted. Beautiful. Now, what else are we going to do? I'm going to get the Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to get this open leaf stamp. Tapping again. And then I'm going to get this little stamp, which is just a set of little heart-shaped leaves. And I'm going to get the Granny Apple Green. Again, because this is, even though it's a little stamp, it's a solid stamp. So I want to tap, make sure I've got lots of ink. I'm going to have a look and see that I've got ink. And then I am going to count to ten. And a bit extra for luck. Ah, bother. But that's not going to matter because it's not going to matter simply because I've cut, I've made this piece longer and with the intention that I could trim it to the length I wanted. So fortunately for me, the one that didn't quite stamp out properly is going to end up being trimmed off. Let's just see. Yep. I'm just going to make a little mark there so I just know that's where I'm going to trim it. Get my paper trimmer. And, whoops, that's probably not in shot, but never mind, you don't need to see me cut the paper. So now we've got this little beauty, and we're just going to glue them on. You could dimensional them on if you wanted to, if you wanted a bit of height in your design, you, or especially if you weren't going to post it, you could put it up on dimensionals, but I am going to lay it flat, and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to lay it flat in a sec. Okay. Is 
although that is a perfectly finished card, and I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm going to add these embellishments. So these are faux sea glass shapes out of the January to June 2022 mini catalogue. And I just like a little bit of uh, a little bit of bling. Adds, it's a cheap way to add interest. So I don't know, where am I going to put one? And which one? I think I'm going to use one of those. And perhaps another one of those down here. And maybe a white one. Where will I put? Nope, I'm not going to use a white one. I'm going to use another one of those. And I'm just going to pop it there. I like to try and make, make a triangle shape. You usually go for a triangle shape. And I've concentrated them around the sentiment because part of the function of the embellishment is to help lead your eye, lead the eye to that sentiment. So that's the outside done. And you'll also know that because it's me, I like to decorate the inside of my card. So we're going to add in... Oops, lost my, lost my paper there. Okay, so I'm going to ink up this one again. Tapping, doing it from the top down because it's a fairly big step. And then I'm going to do the... Transfer. Yep. And if you are in the situation where you've stamped like that, because it can happen, it can happen to the best of us, is that the for some reason the ink hasn't transferred properly and you've got a very motley looking image. Hopefully that's not going to happen to me right now. That's when you say to yourself, it's a good thing paper's got two sides. And you just turn it over and you do it on the back. And of course, if that doesn't work, that's when you say to yourself, well, it's just a bit of paper. And you cut yourself a new one. Okay, so I'm going to add in just a bit more. And I'll be brave and go for that little solid stamp again. Uh, as soon as I lay eyes on where I put it. Oh, right in front of me. Couldn't see it for looking. Okay. So, here we go. Cross my fingers. Count to 10, count to 12 for a bit of luck. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, and then I'm just going to add that thin thread of glue around the edge. You see, I'm not right on the edge. I don't want to be right on the edge because when I put the layers of um, card together there's going to be ooze and I don't want the glue to ooze out onto my finished card. Well, that's what I'm aiming for anyway. So pop it in. You've got a bit of wiggle room to straighten her up if it's not right. And then a nice little bone fold just to make sure. And there you have it, using the Brights family and using Artfully Layered. And the technique that we've looked at today is this tone-on-tone -tone stamping. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like more information about these cards, then you can go to my blog, thinkingstamping.co.nz. And if you live in New Zealand, you're welcome to shop with me there as well. There's a link to my online store. Thank you.